When I started learning web development and I got ready to get a job, I made a terrible mistake that probably a lot of you are going to make right now. Most people think the best way to start your web development career is to start by getting a normal job and then after a couple of years, after you get experience, to transition to freelancing to get more money, more freedom. But I'm here to tell you that starting by getting a normal job is a mistake, okay? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to get your first job and start making money. However, the truth is it's getting a little harder than it used to be to get normal jobs when you're just starting out, especially when you don't have a college degree. But even when you do have a college degree, it's still the case. And where people are wrong is in thinking that freelancing is just for people with experience and it's just something that you can do after you get a lot of experience. The truth is it's actually the best way to get started as a web developer. And listen, right now there's so many people trying to get entry level jobs and so many jobs that are being uh, given to people from other countries, India, uh, China, Pakistan, other countries where people are working for a lot less money than uh, people are getting paid in Canada and the US that you know it's getting harder and harder to get started with a normal job when you are a web developer starting out. Right now, if your goal is to get a normal job, the easiest way is to do it through freelancing because freelancing is the best way to get experience that will allow you to get a job. Listen, there's a lot of jobs right now for people with experience. People want developers with experience. There's a ton of people from India, Pakistan that are like on Upwork and sites like, like these and are easily findable that are willing to work for like $7 an hour for entry level positions. However, experienced developers are harder to find and people are still hungry for experienced developers and still willing to pay a lot of money for experienced developers. So if you do want to get a good job, the easiest way to do it is to get experience. And since getting jobs is difficult, you can't really get experience through jobs. So the best way to do it is through freelancing. You could also work for free, but I don't like working for free because first of all, people don't don't really trust you as much. So it's sometimes harder to get people to be willing to get you to work for free. And also there's the fact that when you work for free, you don't fucking get paid. So in my opinion, freelancing is the best way to get experience overall, period. And when I say getting a job starting out, it's a terrible mistake. What I mean by that is that getting a job when you're starting out as a web developer is like paying a taxi every day to get you to work when you already have a driver's license and a car that doesn't cost you a lot in gas. It's completely useless. You could drive to work for a lot cheaper. You don't need a taxi. You're just paying a lot of money uh, to someone that you really don't need. The truth is when you have a job, what happens is that you have a boss that goes see other companies and convinces them to hire your company with you plus your boss in it. Okay, and the company gives money to the company and your boss keeps mostly 75% of that money and you usually keep about 25% of all the hours that you work. That's not even talking about the government that's going to steal like half of your money, but like essentially the boss is going to keep a lot more money than you are. The thing is what the boss does by going to talk to companies and convincing them to work with you is actually something very simple that you could learn in about 10 hours. And yet it's costing you 75% of the money of all of the hours that you work. You're essentially paying someone 75% of your, the value of your work to get you something, which are clients, which is something you can learn to do yourself for like five to 10 hours. And I know that because I've learned to do it. If you see a five year old kid that can't tie his own shoes, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna tell him, hey, here's a bunch of money, go hire people for the rest of your life to tie your shoes for you. That's dumb. Like he's going to waste a lot of time to get people to come over to his house. It's gonna, it would be a huge waste of money. Instead, no, you show him to tie his own shoes so that for the rest of his life, he doesn't have to pay people a lot of money for it. And for the rest of his, his life, he can do it on his own very fast. It's the guys, it's the same thing for web development. 
It takes about five to 10 hours to learn how to get clients, how to get freelance jobs, how to get companies to hire you alone instead of you plus a boss and give you 100% of the profit that the company usually gets paid. That means, that means that you are five to 10 hours away from never needing a boss. You are five to 10 hours a day to charging four times as much per hour than your first boss would probably give you in your first job. I charge $85 an hour for my time. I could probably never get that amount of money if I had a regular job. The reason I'm able to do it is because I freelance. I get my own clients. I learn how to do it. And listen, I am not the best developer. You're probably, most of you are gonna be way better developers than I am. I don't know PHP, I don't know pretty much shit. I just know like the basics of JavaScript, HTML, CSS. I can make almost the most basic websites possible, but the difference between me and a lot of developers, the reason I'm able to make more money than pretty much all developers out there is because I have learned how to get clients and I'm not giving away most of my money to a boss that I don't fucking need. And if you're wondering like, hey, okay, but aren't companies gonna be not gonna wanna hire me because I don't have experience? The truth is when you're going to talk to companies, they don't think of you as a, an employee. It's not like an interview for a job. They're not gonna look at your fucking resume. I've had like of all the clients that I've ever had, I've had like three or four of them ever ask me about my portfolio, about my experience. Most people, the only thing they look at is how you're talking, uh, how professional you look and learning to look professional is something you can do regardless of your level of experience. In fact, in my agency, I have hired a guy who has zero experience in web development. I taught him how to get clients for me and he's able to do it with no problem despite the fact that he has like zero experience whatsoever almost zero knowledge in programming whatsoever he can do it if i was going to ask him what css is he doesn't fucking know what css is and some people try to get a job until they freelance but guys it takes five to ten hours to learn to freelance you could do that in like one or two days of work like all the time that you're spending with a job, like all that time that's wasted getting almost zero money, like 25% of what your time is really worth, all that time, like you could just spend like two days learning how to get clients and like start getting freelance jobs right away. Do you see how simple this is? The best thing you could do is start learning it right away because this way you can start earning clients as fast as possible, probably this month. Honestly, the first guy I coached on how to do this has been able to get a client by sending less than 10 emails. Listen, a lot of people know how to find clients, but a lot of them do not want to teach you how to do it. And there's a lot of reasons for it. Some of them want to be bosses. They want to take all that fucking money from you. They want you to work for them. They don't want you to be able to get their own clients. Some of them don't want you to learn that because they don't want you to become their competitor. And others are just fucking proud of being richer than everybody else and they don't want other people to learn how to get 100% of the money and they want other developers to make only 25% of the money that they're worth because hey, it makes them feel better. It makes them feel special that they make more money than everybody else. I don't give a shit about any of that. You know why? Because I used to be just like a lot of you, getting a shitty first job, getting a boss that just steal all my fucking money and just like being barely able to pay my shitty fucking rent, barely able to pay any of the video games that I wanted. I was just poor, living with my parents and learning how to do this, learning how to get clients is what has allowed me to get to where I am now, where I have a good house, a good car. I am financially pretty well and I'm able to charge $85 an hour. And I know a lot of you with this information will be able to change your fucking lives. So I feel like just have to share that with you. And also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really happy that by teaching this, it's kind of my last fuck you to all the shitty bosses that I've had. All these people that wanna steal our fucking money, once we all know how to get our own clients, they can't steal our fucking money anymore.
We don't need these motherfuckers, and I know that every single one of you that I show how to find your own clients, that's a bunch of these motherfuckers that go out of business and that have to finally get a normal fucking business that's not fucking ripping off us developers. And I don't want to teach you stuff like cold calling, like calling people, bothering them, like un uncomfortable stuff like that. And I'm not trying to sell you a $10,000 course either. I want everybody to have access to this information. I want everybody to not be fucking stuck having this shitty fucking boss that sticks you all the fucking money. The method that I learned that I want to teach you is something very simple. It's something real, proven, that really works, that, you know, a lot of people are doing. It's, it only requires you to send a couple of emails. It doesn't have to be difficult to get clients. It's these bosses that pretend it's difficult, that have been making you believe it's difficult because they don't want you to do it. And if you want to learn it, I'm going to teach you that in the next couple of weeks. You'll want to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell because no matter what I teach, no matter what I show you, if you don't watch those videos, it won't help you. So you need to hit the notification bell and watch these videos. With that said, I hope I will see you there. This information has fucking changed my life and I know it will change the lives of a lot of people. I'm, con I'm really confident about this and if you want to watch this information and be among the first few freelancers that see this and are able to fucking say fuck you to these fucking bosses we don't need that steal our fucking money, subscribe, watch those videos and I'll see you there. That said, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.